Okay, six, seven, that's affirmative. Okay, we're directly over the bottom All of the Alright, here we go. I'm gonna lower you down now, so whatever you do, don't let go. Have a warm and safe winter season from being fun gaming. And this is our review of the Gunk. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by Steam World Games. And it was published by the Beautiful Games. Oh, this one released on December 13th to the Xbox console and is Play Anywhere compatible on the Windows Store for the price of $24.99. Oh, and wait a minute, what's this? It's on Game Pass, too! Game Pass? I love Game Pass! Hey, Bag, anything on the scanner up there? Nah, the signal's gone, and I'm getting a bellyache just thinking about the fuel expense of landing on this dud. So, here we have the new game, The Gunk. What genius named this game? Hey, is this your new game? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool, it looks great. What's it about? It's, I don't know, it's about the story about this gun. Wee! Dun 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 dun. Okay, super original name. Got it. But who cares about the name? What we're really here to do is... Play the game. Which is fine because the storyline and gameplay here is on point. Let's start with the storyline. Right from the first scene, you're injected into a casual conversation with your fellow space scrapper. Yeah, that's a thing. Who just so happens throughout the entire game is in your ear and is at the ready to give you feedback on any new material you scan or a landmark you come across. Uh, lurk much? You take the role of Ranny, which is one of the two gritty space haulers, scrapping around the universe for rare materials as they chance upon an untouched planet brimming with life. While searching for valuable resources, it appears that they've hit the jackpot! <laughs> yeah! Or have they? As they uncover the dormant secrets of a shattered civilization, they must battle the curse of a toxic gunk parasite all the while getting caught up in a spiral of festering mistrust. Use your trusty power glove to reverse corruption, uncover the secrets of the old, and heal the planet. Experience the evolving relationship of a crew as you explore this unique planet. Uncover mystery, cleanse the gunk, save the planet. Okay, explore an alien planet. Meh. Been there, done that, buddy. <laughs> okay, how about mine some rare ore to use as currency to upgrade your weapons, tools, and armor? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Do they even make games about anything else? But not to worry. The Gunk provides such a beautiful art style and modern writing that you soon forget all the gameplay is basically following a well-worn gameplay trope. What did draw my attention was that while cleaning all the gunk off my pathway, I found it soothing. A little too soothing. To the point that I actually found out that the developers secretly tapping into some unconscious, clean freak OCD I have hidden well deep inside my cerebral cavity. Too bad I haven't found a way to trigger that in the real world. I enjoyed following along in the storyline path, although short. It felt like the environments, although beautiful, were repeated. The basic platforming and mild puzzle-solving distractions help add to my exploratory journey with the giant vacuum cleaner on my arm, which can not only suck all the gunk into a super convenient pocket-sized black hole, it can also be used to pick up oversized items and throw them across the map. <laughs> Great. Sucking and chucking. Nice. Nice. After a while, I found cleaning up all this gunk to be annoying as the small blobs started to become huge, festering, swollen sacks. Ew. Yucky. Meanwhile, attempting to make your way across multiple platforming challenges and dodging enemy attacks, in many ways, the game has a lot of combat similarities to Zelda you? or Darksiders. Suck up the gunk, colorful plants and mushroom blossoms. Rinse and repeat. 
In the end, my short five-hour playthrough left me feeling like they built a great foundation but failed to fully flesh it out with new planets, deeper caverns, or who knows, maybe a few secrets that encourage the player to explore the world off the rigid rails of the storyline path? I do understand that this is an indie developer and the cost of entry is half that of a AAA game. I just hate to see such a wonderful game concept not be fully fleshed out. After a few Not missions, the sinking feeling of repetition Please sets in. It created a beautiful I world, and I love the humorous know. commentary shared between Ranny and Bex. But if I wanted to spend my days running a vacuum cleaner, <laughs> I would have applied for a job at the Holiday Inn. Four beans and the five. Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the track. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Stardew Valley! Besides Stardew Valley or Call of Pootie, let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on, on the, the Fox. Fox.